The 2020 South African Electric Vehicle Car Buyer Survey shows that consumers are ready to buy EVs and that they are willing to do so over the next five years. However, there's a caveat. They want a vehicle that costs less than half a million rand, and they want more range and faster charging than, than is currently the case with existing EVs. I want to talk now to Auto Trader Chief Executive Officer George Minnie, whose organization put that uh, poll together. George, good afternoon to you. So the cheapest EV currently on the local market costs something in the region of 640,000 rand. Your survey respondents are saying all very well, but it's too expensive. Absolutely, Jeremy, and uh, thank you for having me. Uh, uh, good to be with the NCA. Um, you're, you're spot on. The cheapest EV or uh, uh, lowest priced EV in the market today is the Mini SE. No relation, but uh, uh, 642,000 Rand and uh, buyers don't want to pay more than 500,000 Rand for, uh, for a car, uh, uh, let alone an EV. So let's talk about the current purchase profile right now. Whichever way you look at it is a fair amount of money uh, to, to shell out. What's the purchase profile? Do we know who's interested? Well, um, most uh, most buyers are looking to buy an EV uh, within the next five years. That's what the survey showed. Uh, at least within the next five years, there are there is a large portion of buyers that uh, will buy an EV within the next three years if they're available. But the caveat again is the five hundred thousand rand. The problem uh, that we face, and I suppose the elephant in the room, is that the import taxes on an EV is twenty five percent, and then you've got to pay ad valorem taxes and uh, and other taxes, uh, whereas the, the import taxes on an ICE vehicle or internal combustion engine vehicle is 18%. So, so I, I, you know, I don't think there's a particular profile, although what we do see in the data is that 55-year-olds are looking to buy within three years and 18 to 54-year-olds are looking to buy within five years. So the, uh, the disposable income uh, category of people are actually more hungry for EVs than I think we might realize. What I found very interesting was uh, just over a quarter of your respondents reporting range anxiety as a major disadvantage. Firstly, I've never heard of that phrase, range anxiety, but I understand what it means. I would have thought that would be the biggest um, obstacle to people purchasing. It is a big obstacle, but I think it's becoming less and less of an obstacle, Jeremy. And, the, and uh, um, I think consumers are realizing that when it comes to EVs, we have to have a change in lifestyle or change in behavior. Um, with ICE vehicles, the vehicles that we drive currently, um, filling up is a destination or it's an event. You, you, you drive the car from full to empty and then you fill up. With EVs, it's more like your mobile phone. Range anxiety reduces when you begin to realize that when you get home at night, you plug the EV in, you top it up overnight, and then you've got more than enough charge to last you for the next day. So that, that lifestyle change changes the filling profile from being a destination full to being uh, charging the EV overnight every single night. Most of us don't travel more than about 100 to 120 Ks in a day anyway. And uh, the Jaguar I-Pace does uh, uh, 470 Ks on a full charge. You don't need that in a day. Just a final question, and uh, to break away from uh, the survey, no doubt the traditional motor industry is looking at this with a great deal of interest. How would they be looking at, at all of this, and how threatened uh, is the internal combustion market now uh, by this uh, rapidly uh, growing segment around the world? Well, uh, Jeremy, that is a very good question because uh, most countries in Europe uh, that we supply ICE vehicles to, so, uh, you know, South Africa is an assembler of vehicles and we, we, we've got a very uh, healthy export market uh, to Europe uh, of those ICE vehicles. And uh, a lot of European countries have put a deadline uh, which goes uh, to some 2030, some 2035, where they will not be accepting uh, ICE vehicles anymore into their market. So that puts our uh, current assembly plants um, under threat if we don't change. Um, the other challenge is uh, if Europe, Europe puts a deadline on uh, uh, ICE vehicles or the, 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 the stopping to manufacture ICE vehicles, we can no longer get any new ICE vehicles, which means we're forced to adopt EVs. Um, so the, the answer is we need to rapidly change our infrastructure within the country to be able to manufacture um, EVs if we want that as an export 
export market, and then uh, we have to bring down import taxes. Uh, the government has to be, get involved and bring down import taxes so that we can start consumer adoption. All right, so let's leave it there. George Minnie from Auto Trader, thank you very much indeed.